Tesla Giga Press supplier is building a cryptic 9,000 ton press, Giga Press, in China. And if you remember, uh, IDRA general manager Ricardo Ferrario stated that the 8,000 ton Giga Press would be large enough to make single piece components for big vehicles like the Tesla Cybertruck. This one is going to be 9,000. Does this mean that Tesla will potentially be the buyer of this Giga Press because there is no other uh, viable candidate? Uh, and also, Tesla will build Cybertruck as well as semi truck in Gigafactory Shanghai. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and also like this video if you like the information here as helpful. Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi has some details based on our friends Ray, uh, who tweets uh, usual uh, uh, daily information about Tesla from Gigafactory Shanghai and Tesla News. And Simon says the parent company of the Idra Group, which currently produces Tesla's 6,000 ton Giga Press for the Model Y, is currently involved in a rather exciting project. As per recent photos shared in Chinese social media platform LK Tech, Idra's parent company is currently building 9,000 ton presses, Giga Presses, which would be capable of producing parts that are notably larger than the Model Y's single piece rear underbody. Well, which are Tesla's larger cars than Model Y? Tesla Cybertruck, which was featured in New York City last uh, weekend. Tesla Model S, for which actually Tesla Semi, for which Tesla is preparing production in the United States. So my question is, as you hear the rest of these reports, friends, let me know if you think that soon Tesla will also start producing Cybertruck and Semi in China because there may be great demand in China. So Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi says that the images of the new machines prompted, uh, promptly attracted a lot of attention among electric vehicle enthusiasts online. By the way, stay with me because I'm going to show some recent videos of you can see how Tesla Giga Shanghai is expanding east of Giga Shanghai, uh, a new video thanks to our friend Vuva. So the images of these machines promptly attracted a lot, uh, lot of attention among electric vehicle enthusiasts online because at a 9,000 ton, after all, the machines are even larger than the already gargantuan 6,000 ton Giga presses that are currently deployed in the Fremont factory. Similar to Idra, LK Tech did not state which client the 9,000 ton press was for, though Tesla seems to be a definite front runner for such a machine because Tesla has used them. Tesla has said it will use them more. And here's what our friend Ray uh, says on Twitter. LK Tech, parent company of Idra, is making 9,000 ton press machines in China. You know who is the most likely customer for the mega machines. These are the highest spec Giga presses known so far, may be used for Cybertruck underbody production. So this is why I am starting to thinking more that Tesla will use this to produce Cybertruck in China. Now, back in March, the Idra Group announced that it had secured the first order of its largest Giga press to date. Idra General Manager Ricardo Ferrario noted that the machine that was ordered was an 8,000 ton press, and he also stated that the customer was a leading manufacturer of new energy vehicles. Who is the leading manufacturer of the new energy vehicles in China? It's Tesla, or at least one of them. But he's the only Tesla is the only one using these Giga presses now. Similar to what Musk mentioned in the quarter four 2020 earnings call, Ferrario stated that the 8,000 ton Giga Press would be large enough to make single piece components for big vehicles like the Tesla Cybertruck. So here's another confirmation that or another idea waving in favor of Tesla producing the Cybertruck in China. Here's what he said. This giant machine will be used for the production of chassis components of larger vehicles such as pickup trucks, full electric lightweight goods vehicles and SUVs. It is a maestro and not only shows the capabilities of Idra's technical superiority, but also validates the many, many years of hard work that have gone into realizing this project. Project, Ferrario said. 
Considering that the Cybertruck would need an 8,000 ton Giga Press, it remains to be seen if the 9,000 ton machine would indeed be used for a large vehicle like the Cybertruck or perhaps even the Tesla Semi, uh, concludes uh, uh, Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi. I think this way too, that Tesla eventually will build or right now is preparing to build the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi in China for the huge Chinese market, which is the biggest uh, automotive and electric vehicle market in the world. Now, however, speculations are also abounding that the massive machine may actually be used for the $25,000 affordable car in China, Tesla $25,000 car in China, which is expected to be unveiled in the near future. But if it's only for the $25,000 affordable car in China from Tesla, why not 6,000 ton, why not 8,000 ton, but why bigger 9,000 ton machine? So maybe Tesla in the beginning just plans to use this for the $25,000 affordable car in China and then saying, you know, later, maybe in a year or two or three, if we decide to build the Cybertruck for the Chinese market or the, if we decide to build the Tesla Semi for the Chinese and East Asian market, we will use this machine already that we have here. So Elon Musk has mentioned in the past that his vision is to make vehicles with single piece casting, similar to how uh, toy makers like Mattel produce Hot Wheels cars. He also noted that it's very difficult to roll out changes while a vehicle's production is already ongoing. So this is why I'm thinking that this new machine will be used for a new model that Tesla will build and prepare for Cybertruck and Tesla Semi, probably for China. Now, with this in mind, Tesla's 25,000 car $25,000 car may be the perfect candidate for some new innovations, including perhaps an underbody that's built from a single casted piece. Let me know, friends, what you think about this. Why is Tesla uh, potentially, I said potentially because we're not confirmed that this is Tesla buying or this order is for Tesla, but like Ray says, who is an authority in the field, this uh, Tesla is the uh, li uh, likeliest candidate for this one, for this uh, Giga Press. And uh, in the meantime, we have a new report from Giga Shankai from our friend Wuva, who has been banned recently from flying his drone over the Giga Shankai because of the incident from at the Tesla boot at the Shanghai Auto Show, but he was able to fly his drone from afar without, you know, violating any uh, regulations. So here's you can see how Tesla's east extension land is going on and the extension road, which looks very beautiful. You know, Tesla is making these extensions to prepare for pr place for the Giga factories, new uh, model productions, like I just talked about, uh, Vuva says the East extension road looks like a, the road surface as well as the infrastructure construction is nearing the end. Just in the bridge part, the excavator is still widening the river and viewing the water under the bridge from the air, we can roughly see the width of the whole East River in the future. Uh, the Eastern expansion does not seem to have any movement, still maintains the appearance uh, of a few months ago near the factory with also only as the second phase of supplementary work of construction materials, piles and workers rest site. We see Vuva says in the picture located in the north of the eastern extension road there are excavators working and a piece of land has been revealed. So what is the place for? Uh, does it have anything to do with Tesla or maybe this is where Tesla will be um, putting these huge gigapress machines, 9,000 ton gigapress machines and start building new cars, bigger cars, perhaps even the Cybertruck and Model S. Well, let's continue watching the Vuvas videos, please. And friends, let me know what your thoughts are. Let's continue the discussion in the uh, comment section. And if you found this report useful, please uh, like it and give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for daily test on electric vehicle news. Have a great day and talk to us soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you.